Hello and welcome back to my channel. So um, if you remember yesterday we made these really cool um, things out of mostly scrapbook paper. This one was fabric and napkin which I actually really really like this um, and it kind of reminds me of how you know like in movies they're writing on the you know cocktail napkins or whatever. So I know you can write on this so I'm actually pretty excited for this. Anyway, um, these are still on our desk. I figured we would cut these up and that way get them ready for uh, the journals that we're working on. And then we can also get this mat out from underneath my, my table or my desk rather. Uh, I think I'm gonna do it this way because it's curling. Because if you guys remember, this is the one that um, I just I ironed and then I just laid down so it wasn't very flat to begin with or to end with rather. Uh, so I'm going to do these at five and a quarter. These are going to be buckets and then I don't know how tall I want to make them. Maybe three inches, mm, three and a half inches. Let's do three and a half. So there's one. There's two, and there is three. And then we can make this into, I don't know what, but we'll do something with it. And let's see, how big are you? We can make journaling cards with these. These are six and three quarter almost. So let's do, one, that is a journaling card. Uh, let's go. Hmm. Let's do this instead. So we'll do four and three quarters. And we'll do a couple cards like that. And then we'll leave this. Can be a belly band or a tag. I want to make the card decently large. Let's just cut it in half, shall we? Ish. Okay, now we've got two cards. And this one will be, let's see, eight and a half. That is a belly band. And then we're left with that. So we've got one more here to do. This one will be pretty easy because I'm just going to follow the lines that it's got already done. And these will just be added embellishments that we can add to our pages or pockets or whatever. So anyway, how are you guys doing? Today was Wayne's first day on leave. Um, fairly certain he was bored. <laughs> he did laundry, which I mean there wasn't a lot to do because uh, I actually went through and um, do I want to cut this? I think I'll hold off on that. I'll cut it manually. Anyway, uh, I went through, we recently found out he was allergic to dust mites. So I actually went through and like deep cleaned my entire house. And in doing so, I also um, like rewashed all of our linens. Um, I actually pulled everything out of the linen closet and washed that. But that was kind of like, I wanted to do that because I wanted to go through them because we had a lot of stuff in our linen closet like a lot so I wanted to do that let's see let's see if we can clean this up I don't know if this is going to like the trimmer that's not too bad not too bad at all Okay, I'll 
side. Nope. That one did not want to cut the fabric. Alrighty. Might have to just cut this manually. going to cooperate. Nope. Nope. Okay. Well, the first cut went really well. The second did not do so. They did not weather so well. And nope. Okay. All right. I actually think that's it for what we did yesterday. I did plan on doing some more collage or collage work, if I can sit it out. Um, we could do that today. <clears throat> I have no idea what I'm going to do today. I just know that I probably should record something for you guys, you know, being in all that. I'm sure you guys like having videos to watch every day. Bloop, bloop. And I like talking to you guys. It's fun. Ooh. I haven't read the comments today yet. It's kind of, it's a weird day. Um, I actually didn't do a whole lot today because Wayne was home and he kept telling me, go sit down, go sit down, go sit down. I'm just like, but I'm bored. Because <laughs> normally throughout the day, I am, you know, doing chores, messing with the kids with their schoolwork, you know, whatever. But with him here, it's like, it's weird because then he's doing everything. I'm like, this is bizarre, man craziness. So I'm just going to grab one of the journals. I'll grab this one. And we will start kind of finding out where, if anywhere, we want to put any of these things. Um, I do like the pink. It works really well. These are three pockets, so let's use that one and that one. We'll do two. This is fabric, so hopefully this will cut. That is the only thing I am worried about. Oi! It did it. Woohoo! And that was very loud. All right. And then that one. Woohoo! Yay. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to do some more collage work because I don't have enough um, stuff to go in here in all of the journals. So let's grab these two, figure out where we want to put them. Um, I'm going to put one there, because that looks good, like a soap. Oh, I have to ink them. Y'all didn't remind me to ink them. Okay, so I cleaned off my desk, <laughs> so now everything's like everywhere instead of all right here, which is where it was. Now it's like kind of all put away and whatnot. So I'm just like, oh, what did I do with it? You guys know how that is? I don't know if you know how that is, but it's like, as soon as you clean, it's like, where did I put that? And that only happens in my craft room though, because everywhere else in my house, I'm just like, I am so on the kids. That doesn't go there. That doesn't go there. Pick that up, put that away. Like, it's kind of crazy. And more so now, I really feel like that whole allergy thing really kicked into gear. Because I'll be honest with you, I have always hated cleaning. And I think it was a lot to do with my childhood because growing up, cleaning was a punishment for us. It wasn't like a way of living, like you should keep your house neat and clean and tidy. No, it was 
you didn't do what you're supposed to, now go clean the kitchen type of thing. Or don't talk back to your mother, so go clean the kitchen. Like, it was a punishment thing, and it was timed. Like, if we didn't do it in a specific amount of time, we got in even more trouble. And trust me, you'd rather have the cleaning trouble than the other trouble. Because back when I was little, there were no laws and regulations deciding what was adequate punishment for your children. So, my, uh, my stepdad was very creative. If that's what you can call it, I don't know. So, let's put you here. Anyway, I don't do that with my kids. Their punishments are, you know, they get their favorite things taken away from them. Grounded, they get grounded. Uh, my favorite is lectures. Go figure, I love lecturing my children. I love explaining the, to them the logic behind why they are in trouble or why they need to be doing what I asked them to do. And it's funny because my kids used to tell me a while back, like, I'd rather just have a spanking and get over it. Get over it. I'm just like, nah, I can't spank my kids. Not after what I went through when I was a kid. Like, that. I mean, I get why parents spank their kids. It's not a... I don't judge others for, you know, how they do things. But for me, I just, I couldn't psychologically go through that. So I lecture my kids, but I think that kids always want something that they don't have. So, you know, kids that have corporal punishment, they're like, oh, I'll take a lecture any day of the week. But kids that get lectures, they're just like, no, I'd rather have a spanking. Just give me a spanking. Please stop talking. <laughs> Like, Mom, you've changed the subject 17 times. Well, that's what you get. <laughs> and they'll tell me that, too. Mom, you've changed the subject now five times already. I'm like, well, maybe you should have cleaned your room when I told you to. And now we wouldn't be talking about your homework. Because <laughs> I will, I'll, I'll do that. Like, one thing leads to another, leads to another, leads to another. Like, it's kind of crazy how that happens. All right, so remember, these are gonna be like semi-decorated, so we're not gonna go and decorate every single page. Um, and I have to remember that when I'm just like, oh, well, I need to do this and that and another. So I do wanna leave some pages empty. Um, but I've got these really cool things that I got the other day, and I, I'm, I did show you guys. Um, but I think I forgot to put the shop in the description, so hopefully I can remember to do that after this video. Um, but it's a uh, Gramsci shop. Anyway, I want to look at these and see if any of them will kind of go on here. Like that one's cute. Oh, that one's actually really cute. Oh, I like the pink in this one. Oh, that is adorable. Here's a lady. Imagine, believe, achieve. Oh, I like that. I think I like this one better. Yeah, we're going to go with that one. So, and I just put all these in one of my bags because like a ding dong, I threw that other bag away. So I just set them in here because I don't have a folder for her because that's the only thing that I've bought from her. Um, so let's see, how do I want to do this? I'm not sure if I want the paper or if I want the fabric and I think I want the fabric underneath. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this paper off and it's just the backing and then I'm going to glue this down. So my son got a BMX bike for his birthday. His birthday was August 31st. 
and we've had that bike for two months and he broke the chain. Not, I can't say that I'm real surprised because I mean, we did get him a BMX bike for a reason because he's really hard on his bikes. Like he's very adventurous and daring and you know, he does all kinds of crazy stuff that I'm just like, I don't know how you come home every day. This is crazy. Um, but yeah, isn't that pretty? I love that. And it's just so simple. It's just like a little added detail. Oh, I love that. Oh, love it, love it, love it. Okay. So what else do we have? We have some of these guys. We can add as a pocket or a tuck or something. You could actually put this like in here, but I'd want to do it that way. And then you take this side and do this one like that. All right, let's see. What do we want to do to the middle? Um, I don't know. Oh, I have this really cute lace too. I want to add this somewhere. I'm not sure where I'm going to put it yet. I don't think it fits in this particular journal because this one's very muted and it does have some purple in it as well. So I don't really want to use this with this one, but I think I'll use it with the deer. So let's swap to the deer as soon as I find my other journal. See, like this one. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I love that. Could even just put it on the edge here, make the journal a little bit, you know, bigger. Not that it really needs it, but I don't want to cover up his little tail. I really want to use this, but I don't want to just force it somewhere. Hmm. I don't know. Let's let that aside. Because I feel like these journals may not work well with that particular lace. This one is the cover is completely done. We just need to do something with the inside. Um, actually, let's grab these again. These seem to lend themselves really well for the color palette. Oh, I know. I know what we could do. Could make a pocket and then put one of these on the pocket. Let me resituate. So I had to restart my computer yesterday um, for updates and such. And every time I do that, I have to readjust my camera, like reset it to um, not have the, oh, you know what? We've got, where are you? We've got belly bands. Are you in here? No. Um, forgot we made belly bands and cards for that matter. Oh, let's click off of the thing here. See, that's really pretty. Could also put it here. Well, maybe not there, but I do like that here. I really like that. All right, let's do that. Um, so what was I talking about? Mm, I don't know. I 
I do that, I'll start talking, I'll get distracted, and then I'll forget what I'm talking about. And then I'll probably remember, like, in an hour, I'm like, oh, yeah, that's what I was talking about. You guys do that? I do that a lot. Um... So Wayne had his COVID test today. They probed his brain. I was like, how was it? It's like, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. It's like, oh, okay. Because, you know, he's got surgery Monday, so he's got to have the test just to make sure, you know. Um, oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. Now let's add... You don't want to put it here. And then we can put like a pocket here. Let's do that. This is the middle page. He said he's nervous about the surgery. He's never had surgery of any kind before. I have. Um, had wrist surgery. You can see my scar right there. I had nerve damage about 10 years ago. Was it? Now I think I had that surgery. Maybe a little longer. It was back in 09, I think. If I remember correctly. Nope, not that one. Um, there it is. Maybe it was 08. I don't remember. It's been a minute. Was in Hawaii. Remember that. Okay, let's find a pocket. Or we could do the flip here. You know, we could do that. Maybe put something at top. Ooh. That's so cute. What do you think? I actually really like that. All right, so we're going to put this down here. And we're going to do this instead of a pocket. And put it straight up top here. Okay, and then add this lovely lady. To the back or the top rather. Okay. All right, where is the top of the right there? Wipe it. And I like how flat these are. Like they're they're pretty flat. Like see. It's pretty flat. And then let's grab another one. We've got two with some decoration in it. And let's grab this one, see what we can do with this one. We can, oh, we can make a little tuck with one of these things because it does have paper on the back. Make like a little tuck, but I would need it to be like over here. That way. Hmm. Kind of like that. 
I like that better than the tuck. Um, what am I going to use? I want to put a tuck in here, but I'm not sure what I want to use. We've got a couple of things to choose from. Just out of the different things that we've made. upside down. There we go. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to take those off. Probably not, but I like the different textiles that she uses. because She uses fabric, lace, ribbon, and paper, like all together. And it's really cool. Like this is, um, actually, I think this is sorry pretty sure this is sorry. This is like an old doily or tablecloth. Um, this is paper. This is lace. This is lace. Oh, so I was talking about how um, today I was like, what do I do with my time? So I read. Uh, and I started a new book a few days ago. Um, what's it called? It's called King's Oak. And it's by Anne Rivers Sutton. I, re I wouldn't say recently. Last year, it was actually the last estate sale that I went to. Um, I went to an estate sale and um, it was hers. She's an author out of Atlanta. And uh, so I got several of her books. And this one that I'm reading now is actually a manuscript. It's not, it's not the final publication. So it's very interesting to read because there's markings in the book from where either her, like herself, or the editor, like, edited the, the script. And I've never read a manuscript before, so it's very interesting for me. But anyway, um, I'm not done with it. But it's a really good book. It's I can't figure out what it's about necessarily, because I don't know if it's like a mystery or if it's like a romance or like I can't figure that out yet. I'm not very far into it. I'm only a couple chapters in. I think I stopped at like chapter seven. But, I mean, it's pretty good. It's interesting, though, because the time frame is set, like, it will tell you the dates are, um, like, it starts out as talking about children of the 70s, and then it, like, goes through... Like, where I'm at right now is, like, late 80s. But the way that they talk about society, it's more like the 20s and 30s. Like, it's really weird. But it's cool at the same time. I mean, I think she does a good job because it's set in, like, the Deep South, right? And I think she does a pretty good job of... Um, Yeah, sorry. Anyway, I think she does a pretty good job of capturing the essence of the culture of the South um, in her language. And I'm just making this a little tuck. Well, be tuck spot. Because I want to put a tag right here. But anyway, she does a really good job of capturing the essence of the culture of the Deep South in her writing style, which I think is really cool. Um, but it took me a while to figure out the timeline because of the way society is in the book and then the time, because I was like, that's not right. That, that wasn't happening in that time. 
And I always forget that I'm lis I'm re listening. I'm reading fiction. So it's not real. It's fiction. Someone made this up. So, yeah. I always forget that, though. It's funny. Okay. So we're going to put this. I've got some writing on the back here. And then this is going to sit like that. But I'm going to leave this out so this can just sit flat like that. Okay, so we've got a tuck spot there. And let's see, what do we want to put on this side? We could do like a corner pocket. Cut it in half. Of course, I don't know what I would do with that corner pocket or corner piece. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Um, let's do it this way so it's kind of even. Oof. Fabric doesn't really like folding, does it? Just cut along that line. So anyway, it's called King's Oak. Um, and you can actually get it on Kindle, I think, for like $3. And you know, in this massive cleaning, guess what I found? My Kindle that I have not used in literally years uh, because I forgot I had it. Because I have, I have an iPad. And so I use my iPad for everything. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to get on my Kindle and look around and see what kind of books and such. Uh, it was funny because when I first opened it up, I told Wayne, I was like, you know, I think I was in a romance phase. <laughs> and he's like, why? I was like, because every one of these books that I have in my library are all romance novels. Which, I mean, I don't have a problem with romance. I like a good romance. Um, I used to not like them at all because I'm just like, oh, it's so sappy, blah, blah, blah. But now it's just like, I like anything as long as it's written well and it has a good plot. Like, it's hard for me to read something if it's not written well. Um, because then I'm constantly, like, trying to correct their grammar even though it's already published. which that's funny. And that reminds me of my husband actually, because if we watch any kind of movie that has to do with uh, submarines specifically, oh my gosh, he will nitpick the crap out of that movie. It's like, that's not, that's not the way it goes. That's, that's not, that's not how that happens. I'm like, would you shut up and just enjoy the movie? Well, I can't. Like, do you want me to just turn it off? No. Then hush. It's just, it's hilarious. All right. Oh, and then we only have one left. And then we can sew in the signatures and see if we want to add anything else. I do want to add something to this little pocket though, because I think that it needs something. Just not entirely sure what. Hey, come back. Okay, fine. All right. Oh, there's a bird. A bird right there. I like that bird. You know what? I can use this on this other pocket because it sits upside down and if we put this on it then it won't necessarily look like it's upside down. Let's do that. All right so this one I'm just gonna let this sit because this curled paper does not want to uncurl. Oof. Let's grab another corner here. All 
I actually like it better like this though. I like that better. I don't know why, but I like that better. Okay. <clears throat> And again, I don't know why I like a lot of things I like. Okay. All right. And then this one. Oh, I'm not, maybe I'll take that off. We're just going to glue around it and on it. Yep. Oh, you're upside down. Psych, I was just kidding. I'm going to go this way. Wee. I'm gonna have to get more of these. I like these a lot. I've only I only did the I think three orders and I've used like almost all of them already. Which is crazy. Oh you know what else we have? Hearts. Oh that's what I can put on the other side. Where'd you go? Pocket. Come here, pocket. Let's put you there, but we're going to add a little bit because I feel like it needs that something. So let's put you right there. Maybe across the bottom not attached to my finger. Okay. I'm not sure. I don't know. I feel like this is being forced. I don't I don't like that. Okay, let's do something different. Okay, you're going in the front you can go right here or you can go right no because that's got that on the bottom I kind of want to have this out so you can see it but I do like that I actually like that a lot looking in the camera viewer thingy that's over there on my monitor I like that a lot, just like that. Okay. So let's find something else for, we could do this one on the front because we got the words there. And put this one here, which matches very well. So let's grab a card. Trying to find a card that, ooh, maybe. No, because then you can't see it on the bottom. Well, well, fiddle fart. Oh, that's pretty. Okay. I like that. All right. And then the front, we can add this one, just like that. Perfect. Okay. I'll 
some. Oh, wow, it's 40 minutes already. Okay. And this one, look, we didn't hardly do anything to it, and it's already getting fat. Um, I think a lot of it is because my cards are curved, and so I'm going to set these under a heavy book overnight. I, I'm just going to put the whole thing under a heavy book. I'm going to do all of them, and hopefully that will flatten them all out and make the cards behave themselves. And then we have one more to do, and then we can sew in the signatures. So that's really cool. Um, so thank you guys so much for joining me. This was so fun. Um, I'm going to see if I can find some more of these and I'll see if I can't remember to actually put the, her link in the description box because yeah, I think I forgot to do that when I showed you the Etsy share, but just in case I did use a lot of her stuff today. So it's only fair that I put her link in the box. So anyway, hopefully you guys can find her and check her out. Uh, again, it is Gramsci Shop. Gramsci Shop. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.